So if you thought the Marvels was a disaster enough over at Marvel Studios, just wait and strap into your seatbelts when it comes to Madam Web by Sony and exactly what's going on with the SSU, also known as the Sony Spider-Man Universe. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, I don't know if you guys really have been all up to date with the upcoming Madam Web movie, but it's basically going to be the Marvels all over again. And director and writer S.J. Clarkson was able to admit a lot of things about all this and really giving her a full-on reaction and response to the ongoing fan backlash against this actual movie. I don't know if you guys saw the trailer or any of the footage or interviews related to this film, but it is a walking colossal failure for Sony right now. And it may very well be the next big failure after Morbius. Now, when you look at everything related to Dakota Johnson and Sidney Sweeney and what they've been saying about this film, it really is nothing more than agenda-driven nonsense. This is all taking place within its own world, directly excluding any kind of references to Spider-Man or even Andrew Garfield at that. There's a lot of things to discuss, so let's get into all of this. Now, one thing about S.J. Clarkson, you guys may or may not know, but she did work on Jessica Jones, all right? Which, by the way, is part of the MCU. And that was one angle that really kind of shoehorned her into this business of getting into the superhero films and or TV shows and really kind of wrapping up her career there. And this, I believe, is the pretty much point of no return where she hit a brick wall. Now, with that being said, with, of course, Madam Web director and writer S.J. Clarkson already beginning to head into damage control and attacking the Marvel fan base after the ongoing backlash, she went on to deliver the following recently to the general public. After getting the opportunity to work on Jessica Jones, I knew going into what Sony was trying to establish that we had to take things to the next level when it came to introducing these three powerful female figures into the Madam Web story. I knew, I just knew, that this was my one shot to do things right, especially after we landed Dakota for the main role of this film, and Sydney is such a treasure to work with. This is our own storyline and set in our own world, separate from Spider-Man, and if the fans don't like that, then they want to leave a negative review, then so be it. It doesn't alarm us one bit. This is a separate story that we really needed to tell, apart from what Disney and Sony had one in the past, including Spider-Man into the main picture would have only taken the limelight away from these three well-written characters. I knew going into this project that we would be dealing with a toxic male fan base that would want nothing to do with it, but I also think there is a double-edged sword there. We are going to attract a large portion of male fans who cherish and respect women who find these characters not only attractive in many ways to both the lore and by design. In the beginning, we felt the more references to Spider-Man, the better for our direction, but we had to work out the kinks and had a change of heart because it was just getting in the way too much of our female-led roles. I was very inspired by what Kevin Feige was doing in his separate universe with the MCU for Disney for the Marvels, and we really wanted to do an equivalent take on all of that for that universe and how we could use that for Sony and how they have been building this for years now that I think will eventually gain momentum. I know Dakota felt very self-conscious about our direction after we got everything done in post, and it has been quite a chaotic ride getting this movie made after some serious setbacks and revisions that we had to embrace. I think that this is something that we needed to do and was needed for a very long time here at Sony to have the first ever all-female superhero film that doesn't need to cling to male superhero roles over at Sony or anything of the like. Dakota and Sydney are the queens in this story and I think it will create an entire new era of fans that love these characters just as much as they enjoyed Toby, Tom, and Andrew. This is a standalone world. It gives us the freedom to empower these characters with no boundaries and attachments to the past Spider-Man characters that have been established by both Sony and Marvel. Now guys, let me just stop here before I move on, alright? So, S.J. Clarkson, again, uh, one of the characters in this movie, by the way, 
is pretty much about the origin tale of Madam Web. All right, that's Dakota Johnson's role. And even Dakota Johnson, you guys may or may not know her. She's been in the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Uh, she basically really kind of put out some negativity about this movie, casting a lot of doubt about its success, saying how she's not quite sure about whether or not this movie will even do well. Right now it's projected, and I say it's projected by Sony, to do worse than the Marvels. Even they are having little to no confidence about this film, yet you got S.J. Clarkson, the creator of the film, hyping this thing up to no end, like there's no tomorrow, like it's gonna be the next big thing. Now again, if you guys have not seen that trailer, slash teaser, whatever have you, go ahead and check it out. You guys will know exactly what I and many others out there have been talking about, of how cringeworthy the dialogue is, how off-set the acting really feels. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that S.J. Clarkson is just not fit for writing this movie in particular, let alone the idea of this film, to be honest guys, should not exist in the nature that it was actually directed. It should have been done in a more grounded way within the Andrew Garfield realm or universe, whatever you want to call it, in the SSU, by dissecting that and getting rid of that entire you know, uh, segment or that entire angle and setting it within its own world specifically, I think is already kind of creating a lot of confusion among casual fans of the Sony S Spider Man universe. But moving on, she goes on, on to conclude I'm hoping that fans will wind it down a lot already because it doesn't contribute to our success with these characters and all the work that Dakota and Sydney put into these roles. Andrew, Toby, and Tom already had their shot in time to shine, and now it's our moment to build these characters and we will keep pushing to expand them in whatever way that we can, no matter what type of feedback that we have to face in the future. I am confident with the direction of this film and all the work I had done with this fantastic cast and crew. Again, it's almost like, you know, S.J. Clarkson is trying to make fans feel like they should feel bad for rooting for Tom, Toby, and Andrew, and that their time is up and that they had way too much time. That's how she seems to believe things, and that it should all be about, you know, these three new characters these three new female-led characters that are gonna be horribly written, mind you, by the way. This is most certainly gonna do worse than the Marvels. In fact, it is projected to bomb at the box office beyond expectations over at Sony. So like I said before in the early portion of this video, if you thought the Marvels was bad enough, both story-wise and box office-wise, just wait and anticipate what's going to happen on February 14th, and yes, that is when it's coming out. So again, I mean, like I say, S.J. Clarkson really kind of cemented herself in this superhero uh, film slash television, uh, you know, way of directing and writing things with Jessica Jones. That's really what kind of got her into all of this, and what really advanced her career to get over to Sony more. But I would like to hear what everyone has to say about the whole Madam Web situation over at Sony and excluding the whole Andrew Garfield universe of Spider-Man. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Hey.